I left you in the last vlog telling you that I needed to tell you about my doctor's appointment. Let me start by going back about 10 months ago. It was right before my surgery and I was having this like really bad irritation and it was not a yeast infection. I They treated me for it, it didn't cure it, and I don't get those very often, and so I knew that it probably wasn't that, but I was very irritated. I thought maybe it was from me starting to work out again, maybe, I didn't know what it was. And it kind of was gone when I went in for my surgery, and so I don't really remember a whole lot after that. So I'm assuming that that irritation was gone, um, <sighs> um, during my healing process, right? It's like a lot. Uh, stuff dealing with me physically is is difficult. Oh, hmm. <laughs> it's not a good camera stand. The window isn't too high of a camera stand. I'll just hold it. Don't worry. It's a good workout for my arms. <laughs> Sitting in front of the window, so I have good lighting in my little boys' room. Talking about my area. Okay. Um. Fast forward to November. November, you guys. That was. December, January, February, it's March, so like four-ish months ago, I was getting that exact same irritation and I immediately, I was like, this is what I had before, this is really bad. So they treated me for a yeast infection. I went on the medication, it did not help. Meanwhile, she called me with the culture results and she said, oh, it was negative for yeast. I was like, okay, so what are we going to do? And she's like, we'll see if it goes away. It didn't. She gave me another round of the medication, but like a different medication. So I took that and I called her and I said, now, why would you put me on a different form of medication for something that I tested negative for? Well, a lot of times you will test negative for yeast, but you do have a yeast infection. It really seems like that's what you have. No, I don't think that I do and the girl on the phone was not nice like she was not nice and I just was like all right I'm just gonna listen I'm going to do the medication I went into the doctor you know weeks later I was like I'm still having this issue and I'm sorry you guys <laughs> let's back up so after taking the second round of medication I called in again no that was right no that was right okay so after taking the second round of medication, I went back into the same doctor and she told me, which isn't my regular OB, I really think that it's yeast. It wasn't, it, the culture came back negative after I took the third round. Took the third round of medication, woke up after one dose of it and she was angry. She was angry. And I called the doctor up and I was like, look, I was not nice. I said, I, need to see my doctor because I love this man more than anyone on this earth. Well, I mean, he's up there. <laughs> I said, look, you're treating me for something that's coming back negative and I am not going to go on any more medication. What do you want to do since it's not working? Honey, I was like, this is your job. You tell me what's wrong. You tell me what's going on because I don't know. That's why I'm coming to you. My doctor was amazing and, and got me in on his super busy schedule. And he was like, I understand you're frustrated. His nurse was so good to me. The other doctor's nurse, the one that was mean to me, I didn't enjoy working with her. But then my doctor's nurse was incredible. She was patient, she was nice. And I went into my appointment. We had like nice chit chat, he was so nice, and he's like, all right, let's take a look at like what we're dealing with. Went through a bunch of questions with me, did another culture, and he said, you guys, I don't even wanna tell you this. He said, he was like, okay, and I don't know if I can talk about this, like I don't know if I can like use like real words on YouTube, I'm gonna have to make sure this video's okay. I didn't realize this. We're gonna just talk anatomy here for a second. I didn't realize this, but your hymen is towards the outside of your body. I always thought it was like up inside. No, it's like down here. And if I'm wrong, I'm gonna be so embarrassed, but that's like my understanding. Um, and then as you get older and you have intercourse, that hymen like open like it. I don't really know. So I'm just gonna tell you what he told me. My hymen, there was leftover skin like around 
the perimeter. And as I had babies, and if you tear during having babies, he said that that skin was just being really damaged and it would tear each time I had a baby and it would heal funny each time. I didn't know any of this because this isn't like visible from the outside, this is all going on like inside. That skin, that damaged skin is there and it is causing irritation to the outside. Like there's like friction. I've been working out, weight gain, weight loss, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Anyway, that skin is bothering the outside skin and that is where it's causing this irritation from which makes sense hindsight with how it feels like where it was hurting and anyway i had no idea this was a thing i have to have it removed i have i had to have it removed i was like you want me to schedule a surgery like is a surgery and he's like we do not have to do it in an operating room he's like you can do it in the office we'll have to like numb it cut it off. Anyway, this just feels freaking wild. If I didn't have such sensitive skin, this wouldn't be an issue. But because my skin doesn't want to be touched by other skin, it's just angry. This is my sensitive skin we're talking about here. I feel fired up. <laughs> I feel fired up in my loins. <laughs> um, it's, it's also humiliating. Um, it's a little humiliating, but not really because she's been through a lot she's had four babies and i don't know that's it that's all i got for you that's what's happening so i have to schedule that surgery don't ask me when my schedule is so booked out i feel super weird but i don't it's fine i'm gonna have to approve this video <laughs> through my youtube rep because i don't want this to get taken down but i feel like it's going to be good I don't know, for anyone else. My lady. What are you doing? My lady, what are you doing? Should we show him my pants? Come here. Should we go show him my pants? Because these are like one of my favorite pants I've ever had. P.S. Today's launch day. If you haven't seen that vlog, it was the one from yesterday, I believe. So anyway, I came home to this. Brie made my bed. She turned the lamp on. And there's vacuum lines. I said, how did you know I love coming home to mood lighting? And she said, because I know you, which I really appreciated. Okay, we're gonna look past all the garbage, pretend that's not there, and I wanna show you these pants. They're ridiculously high-waisted. They have a cute little rip, but not too much, and they're super, super cropped. So, I just wanted to show you these, and when I get questions about my pants, I always just tell people the brand. There are so many different like styles and things. They're all really different. I kind of assumed that all their pants were the same. They're not. There's different materials. That's what I look at the most, is the rise, because I want them as high up as possible, and then the material. So, the material that I like is the super stretch. I think that's the one. I can't deal with like non-stretchy pants and that's what I like about these the best. So I'll link these in the description for you guys. Thanks for watching this really um, intimidating vlog to record. So this is my life. This is what I do. I talk about issues with, <laughs> can you see my neck? Oh, hey, you're red. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.